maximum area of rectangle under curved surface. The base of a rectangle lies along the x-axis and the upper two vertices are on the curve defined by y equals to k square minus x square. Determine the dimensions of the rectangle with the maximum area. So this is a case where the rectangle is within a curved surface. Let's try to sketch this and understand the situation. Now in this particular case, the equation given to us is that of a parabola which is k square minus x square. That means x square is inverted and then it is moved k units up, right? k square units up. So we have kind of a parabola like this, right? So that's the parabola for us. Now it says basically that <clears throat> the base of the rectangle lies along the x-axis, somewhere along this axis, and the upper two vertices are on the curve. So the other two ways, that means the line has to be parallel to x-axis. So let's draw a line parallel to x-axis, right? So that forms a rectangle when we drop these perpendiculars from here, right? So that is how it is. Now, determine the dimensions of the rectangle with maximum area. Now, to maximize the whole area, what we can consider is area of just one half, right? If this area is maximum, then whole area is also maximum, correct? So we'll consider only this area. And from symmetry, we'll say the whole area will be maximum if this area is maximum, correct? So that is a strategy which we are going to follow. And let's say the point here is x and y, any general point on the curve. Now, if this point is x and y, then we have one dimension as x, the other is y, and therefore the area of this shaded portion, half of the rectangle, right, can be written as equals to x times y. Now, since y lies on the graph, that means we are given y equals to k square minus x square. So that is the value of y in general. So what we can do is we can substitute this value y here and then we have area as x times k square minus x square. Now that gives us equation in one variable and so we can write a as a function of that variable x, right? So this is equal to k square x minus x cubed. So that is our function. Now, to maximize the area, we need to find the derivative and equate it to zero to find the critical number. So let's equate this derivative to zero. First, let's find it out. So the derivative of this is, so we multiply, this is k squared, right? X derivative is one, and this one is three x squared. Now, to find the critical number, we need to equate this to 0. So, why did we do this? Because we want to find critical number. Right? And now, if I equate to 0, what is the value of x we are looking for? So, we say, let's reorganize this. We say 3x square equals to k square or x square equals to k square over 3. And so we have x as equals to plus minus square root of k square over 3, right? So we get two symmetric points. Of course, we can, we will, right? So we'll get one here and the other one here, correct? So we'll consider one because we're just considering this half. And from here, we get our critical number. And the critical number for us is x equals 2, k square square root will be k over square root 3, correct? At present, I'm considering only the positive point, and then we'll consider negative point later for finding the dimensions, okay? So let's say we have two critical numbers. One is this, and the other one is minus k over square root of 3, okay? So this one is your minus k square root over 3, right? So that means x is this much, so this point over here is k over square root of 3. Correct? Now, we need to find the value of function when it is k over 3. That is the y value. Correct? So what is the y value at this point? So we'll plug this point here and find the y value. Now before that, 
Let's get into the boundary conditions of this. So what are the boundary conditions? Whenever we are talking about maximum and that is absolute maximum, we need to consider boundary conditions, right? Most of the time as you have seen in area conditions, they are zero. But if you don't do it, at times you may miss out on critical values and other times you will miss out on some marks because you didn't really apply the whole method, right? Now here, the boundary condition is that these x-intercepts, right? So the equation is y equals to k square minus x square. That is the equation we are considering. And if y is 0, then what could be the value of x? That is what we are trying to understand. So the equation is y equals to x square minus k square. I am equating that to 0, finding these intercepts, right? So it is k square minus x square. And from here, I get x square equals to k square and therefore this implies it should be x is equals to plus minus k right and therefore we have these points which is k here and minus k there right and the boundary condition for us is that x could be between this and this that means plus minus k so these are the boundary conditions for us now we have a critical number and we have boundary conditions so what do we need to find? We need to find area for all these three values and then select what gives us the maximum area, correct? So we'll use this function ax equals to x times k square minus x square and find the value at these points. At minus, let's consider plus this time, plus k over square root 3 minus will give us the same value, will be equals to We'll substitute k over square root 3 in our function. We get this and this is k square minus square of will give us k square over 3. So that is the area which we get if we substitute the critical number x equals to k over square root 3 and that is so it is 3k square. So let me write k over square root 3 here and this is 3k square minus k square which is 2k square over 3 okay so that becomes the area for us which is which is positive since k is a number which is not zero it's a non-zero number k right so that is what we get here as the area now if you substitute 0 I mean, if you substitute the boundary condition, which is minus k or k, then what happens? So, the value of the area at plus minus k, let me write, will be, if I write plus minus k, then that term is going to be 0. So, that is going to be a 0. And therefore, the value which we get here is the maximum value, correct? So, it says, determine the dimensions of rectangle with maximum area. So, we know when x is k over square root 3, then we get maximum area of our rectangle. Therefore, the dimensions are, so we have here width, let's say we may call it length or width. One dimension is k square root 3 this side from 0, k square root 3 the other side, right? So we can say the dimensions of rectangle are equals to, so 2k over square root 3, that is important, right? You have to add this up. Do you get my point? k square root 3 on this side and k square root 3 on the other side by the height, which is y. So y we can calculate from here. We'll put, let me do it in a different ink right on the top so that, yeah, running out of space all the time. So we'll write x as k over square root 3 and calculate what y is, right? So we have y equals to k square minus k over square root 3 with k square over 3 that gives us 3 minus 1 which is 2 k square over 3 so that is the value of y by 2 k square over 3 so that becomes so that is the width y from here to here 
it is 2 k square over 3. So the dimensions of the rectangle which is going to give us maximum area is 2 k over square root 3 by 2 k square over 3. So that is how we are going to do these types of questions, right? I hope you understand and appreciate the method. Share with your friends and let me know if there are any doubts. Thank you and all the best.